Xiao Rotung is China's best all-arounder, but was left off of that country's Olympic team in 2016, and that's a bit of a head-scratcher. It was a bit of a head-scratcher. They, they, they sent a team of event specialists. They were looking to get a lot of event medals there. But it didn't pay off at the Olympic Games. China only won one bronze medal, and that was in the team competition. But this young man has dominated this year. Flare sequence. This top group is going to be fighting for all of the landings. Because every tenth of a point is going to matter after six events. Well, you can certainly see why he came pretty close to qualifying for the floor final here in Montreal. reigning Asian all-around champion, Xiao Wotong. A nice look here at the double layout. Some of the athletes, Kenzo Shirai, for example, adds three twists to that skill, so the difficulty is a little bit lower. But he does build up valuable points here on the floor doing this flare sequence. Each time he hops his hands and turns his body, turns his body it does increase that level of difficulty. But this tells me he's here to win. Check out this dismount, triple full, and those feet do not move. He was second in qualification behind Manrique Larduet, who we're going to see a little bit later on floor. But looking at the qualification results, the Chinese team did quite well, qualifying two members here to the top six. 14 and a half points better than he had in qualification. Here again is Xiao Rotong of China, that country's best all-around athlete. At the 2015 Worlds, he finished in ninth place and he actually fell on this apparatus. This has been his nemesis event. Great on the floor exercise and on high bar. This is a very long routine. Endurance is certainly playing a role, and he is swinging in fine form. He brought his A game today, Brenda. Certainly did. He will be a finalist. We'll see him on the weekend in the Pummel Horse final. But it's, a, it's an event you either love or you hate. And there, Xiao Ru Tung. Close to 15 points on pommel. Xiao Rou Tung is China's best all-arounder, Kyle, and he leads the pack here in Montreal with two of six apparatus in the books. He was a dark horse coming in. I think everyone thought Manrique Larduet and Oleg Vernayev were going to be the ones to lead the way, but after two events, he has looked fantastic, really crisp really determined here today. He's got great position on this iron cross. The arms do look slightly hyperextended, but there's no deduction for that. He wants to turn those rings out in that handstand position. Oh, 
Nicely done by the reigning Asian all-around champion. This is an awesome look at his Maltese cross. You see his head shaking side to side. He is pushing down on those rings and locking out every muscle. Bounces into the Iron Cross and has a perfect line from shoulder to wrist. Back to the score for Shao Rotung. It is 13.8, little lower than what he scored in qualification. Now here is Sho Rotung, who currently sits in third place. He's good at the leg events, very powerful. He performs the same vault as David Beliavsky, that Kazumatsu with a double twist or a round off onto the table and a triple twist off. Let's watch that vaulting table. Watch how he pops out of it. Pow! Gets those three twists in. Great direction. He's looked very focused here at this championships. Very businesslike. Isn't getting too hyper, isn't getting too excited. He's just going from event to event and doing his job. And Bolt was one of his best scores in qualification. He really has three events where he can finish in the top 10 overall. And this is one of them nearly 15 points. The last competitor on parallel bars from China, Xiao Rotung, who's the leader after four rotations. Oh, he moves so quickly. Nice pop on that stutz. Deductions on that dismount. Over rotated slightly, landed on his heels. The smallest of mistakes could mean the difference between winning the gold medal here in Montreal or finishing fourth. I'll tell you what, this skill is brutal. When you land on those parallel bars, it's like someone punching you in the bicep. You saw after the routine, he was rubbing his arms slightly. There's so much force when the gymnasts do land on their upper arms. The Chinese men have such great diversity in their routines on the parallel bars. They do these double flips like this from underbar to the upper arm. They're doing great support elements, great underbar skills. There's lots of variety. But this is where things went wrong. For him, he was pulling too hard on the dismount. You don't really get to see it, but he did land on his heels and had to take a shuffle and a big step back. Well, this might be the most important score of the day so far. 14.6 for Xiao Rotung of China. Next up from China, Xiao Rotung. And he was in second place heading into this rotation. He needs to grab the bar. Not holding back, going for all of his big difficulty. Same skill that David fell on. He is on today.
Just the dismount. Spot on. But Kyle, he's going to need a pretty good score to move into the lead. 13.9. Higher than what he scored in qualification. He has a big degree of difficulty. I think that score is possible. Throughout this year, he has been scoring over that 14 mark. He was making sure he was going to catch these release skills. Did bring a few of them in a little bit close. He flies on that to catch up with a half pirouette. Amazing day that he had capped off with a stuck dismount on his final piece of apparatus. And even if he can't move ahead of his teammate, it's going to be a great day for China. The score now, 14.4. So we have a new leader here in the men's all-around competition. Xiao Rotung. The first time in a decade China has won the all-around title.